Hey guys, this is GTI Zlot coming at you with another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. I am on the Geek Tech Industries server, and currently, uh, you see, I'm just I'm in my um, my ore base on dirt. Um, don't know why, but the meteorites stopped falling and the elves seem to disappear. I'll, I'll see if a reset will fix that. But in the meantime, uh, while I was out on the other planet there mining the Arrestrium um, and stuff like that, I decided to build a new HV. Now, I wanted to do it from scratch, so here it is, or at least most of it. Um, this is basically a new improved mining HV. Yes, it's a mining HV. I know it's got all these weapons on it, but, um, and it looks really mean and nasty, and it is kind of mean and nasty. It's made out of, uh, hardened steel. Uh, so let's currently look at its specs here. Uh... It has um, pretty good maneuverability uh, for for, uh, but it's only class one. That's actually kind of surprising the size of it, but it's class one. Okay. Anyway, um, it's got six of the laser drills on it. Two Gatling guns. I don't really use the Gatling guns that much, except for like shooting things, uh, meat usually. Uh, it's got four rocket turrets. I'm really uh, excited to try that out because I haven't really got a, a good chance to play around with that sort of stuff yet. And I put four minigun turrets on it for mo mostly for um, predator defense. If I want to, if I want to go into somewhere where it's heavy predator and I just want to sweep them all away. Uh, it's got an artillery turret, real nasty, one big, huge gun. It's basically what, you know, a, a tank cannon is. Um, now it also, I put a drill turret on it too. Um, what does it has? It has six generators. It has eight fuel tanks, no warp drive, of course. Um, its mass is 86.2 tons. Huh? 756 block count, 175 device count, light count of 11, triangle count. I'm not quite sure what the triangle count is. Um, anyway, I guess I could look that up. Uh, so, she also has, where doesn't it say? All my thrusters. Does it? Oh, here we go. Thrusters and RCSs. So it's got 10 thrusters out the back, six facing forward, none at the top, none at the down, because it's a hover vehicle, derp. Uh, it's got seven out the left, seven out the right. It's got 33 RCSs. <laughs> um, it's got four hover engines and six hover boosters, which didn't seem to matter how many I put on it kept not jumping any better uh, so I might take off the excess ones but for the meantime we'll keep them on there eight cargo boxes four ammo boxes two fridges one constructor two oxygen tanks or sorry oxygen stations and eight oxygen tanks and one ventilator it can seat um, three crew plus uh, pilot so I'll give you a quick tour. Um, basically, I started with just a a box. Now, this is the way to get in through the side here. I, it's a bit of a conundrum that I, I wanted to make it semi-difficult for critters to get up to it. So it's actually easy just to you just run up against it, quick little jump, and you're in, really. Um, I like it. It... You can see there's seating for three in the back. Uh, it's plenty of headspace, so you don't get that weird 
freaking locked into place jittery crap that much. Uh, once in a while, I'll get st I will, because I, I took it out and tried it, obviously. I've been playtesting it. Um, so basically, this thing is just a, a box for the cockpit. You'll notice there's no real uh, <laughs> windshield view. Well, I originally did have the windshield right down, lower, uh, but it was kind of funky. I needed some elevation for other stuff, the, the thrusters taking up space and whatnot. And I always, fl sorry, the camera's jumping in and out. I'm going to get out of here. Um, the thrusters took up so much space and I'd never go into first person view pretty much ever when I'm flying these things. So I didn't really see it a, as a moot point. And if I really needed some fine tune flying done, I can just, you know, alt, look around, make sure I'm going the right, you know, but, but I usually only do that with a CV or an SV. So hover vehicles are just jump in and fly, right? Uh, so the drill I actually have pointing down, the reason I did that is, well, it's for deposits. It can sweep to the side. I've already tried it. It, <laughs> it can drill a pretty good well straight down, trap people in. Like seriously, like like you would fall down in there and die from the from the hole it dug. Uh, it's kind of funny. Um, so as you see, all of the thrusters are the jet thrusters for HVs. Uh, the reason I did that is, well, come on. Yeah, well, see, thrust was the issue, was a big issue on the other one. Um, plus, it was just a, a tin foil box, really. So, it got me to where I needed to get to, and now it's just kind of a backup. It'll be, you know, maybe I'll give it to uh, Stickus's kid to play around with. I heard that they're going to be coming and living on dirt, too, so... So that's exciting. But as you can see, this thing's a decent size, but it's not overly ridiculous. Um, so six of those thrusters facing forward, it actually moves quite well with all the thrusters. Um, its primary focus though is not attack. Its primary focus is mining and, and getting ore. Um, the other one just was not capable of getting too close to any of the other, of a, of an easy POI. It couldn't, it couldn't deal with an easy POI. So this one should potentially be able to take out turrets on a POI enough for, for me to get in and mine whatever deposit is close by or meteorite. And the reason I put these at the front so close in this close formation these these laser drills is specifically for meteorites uh deposits i'll probably do, be doing mostly with the drill in the back so um yeah it, even though it's capable of doing deposits like it can drill a mean hole with those six in the front let me tell you but i see myself probably just jumping in the turret at the back and drilling deposits from with a with a relaxed state of zen <laughs> okay uh so today i think not only did i want to show off my my new build that i just did uh it looks cool i should i should actually show you guys i'll take it out for a, a test flight here well i've already test flown it but i'll take you out and show you how it performs so we'll fire this puppy up um and it, it hovers quite nicely. My criteria was to fit through the 7x5 door while fully hovered at 3 meters with a big gun on the top. So I think I accomplished that. So here's the, here's the door. There we go. We squeak through. We just kind of squeak by on the sides. But um, you can see it actually fits quite nicely. No problems. No problems at all. I was actually more worried about the top of it. But... And this thing actually handles quite well. Like I can just jump up. I can actually, with all the RCSs on it, I can um, 
I can just flip it upside down. I can just flip it upside down just by moving the mouse. Here we go. And we're upside down. <laughs> How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Okay. We can always go out of it. So, this thing is more maneuverable by far than the other one. And it's just, it kicks ass. It, it's so fast. And smooth. Like, I can go over some really rough terrain. And it doesn't seem like it's going that fast, but, but believe it or not, that's max speed for an HV. Uh, I have it panned down quite a bit. That's just how, this is just how I like to fly. So smooth so far. We'll go over some really gnarly stuff here. I'm just going to take my hand off the mouse and just keep my hand on the trigger or on the uh, throttle. And I'll let it fly itself here in a straight line. We'll see how it does. And it just powers over that, no problem. You can't see. Not really sure what's going on. And oh, there's the edge of the world. I'm going to have to turn here. Okay, well, let's, or the edge of the, uh, the pole, the boundary for the pole. Thank you. Okay, we'll keep it going this way. You can see it's smooth, even, oh, even totally, let it, oh, is it going to flip over? Yeah, okay, I crashed it. But that was my hands off the mouse, and that was, I mean, come on, going into mountains. Who does that? This thing just it almost flies like an SV and then it lands so smoothly it's got four of those hover those large hover pods on the bottom so it really it's really stable. The width of it is nice. I can turn on a dime and just like stop. See that from full speed. Oh, hey, what's this guy here? Well, I've got 8,800 rounds. Oh, I haven't loaded anything yet. And this thing, because of all the RCSs, I can stand it straight up. I, it should be a lot easier to kill stuff with. Oops. just land now technically I did put everything onto some switches so I could right now I have the drill turned off because it was taking up insane power just doing nothing so watch from f wow I lost an hour with it just turned on not even using it so I've got the mini guns turned off right now. I have them set to Predator. I don't really care about Predators right now. Don't really need the mini guns blowing off all their their ammunition right now. I have missiles and artillery set to Alien and and player only anyway. So um, Alien and and turret, Alien turret and mount mounted weapon. Yeah. So I'll, let's just turn the engines off. That'll shut everything off that is all our seas engines hovers you name it but it keeps the ship running uh, the reason i like to keep it running is for uh, come up to the oxygen tank to get oxygen uh, it keeps your fridge cold and it keeps it running warm which is very important if you're if you're out in a really cold area um, and you go and you're freezing and you go to jump in your ship and your ship is freezing it might take too long for it to warm up by the time you die of being frozen so um yeah that's a thing let's turn a light on so you can see as i jump out of my cockpit i actually stay inside of the um the fuselage so to speak i guess this would be a fuselage um 
Okay, so let's go loot that guy. Oh, and here I get stuck. <laughs> Open the door. And he was over here, wasn't he? Where was he? Did I take too long? Oh. Did I take too long? I don't know where he is now. I guess I took too long talking and talking. Really? Uh, oh, why don't I go into my night vision, which, was it over on this side? Did I just totally not, oh, there's a dude over there. Um, huh, okay. So he despawned, I didn't get out and loot him fast enough. Whatever. Whatever. What was he ahead here? I mean, night vision is good, but when the lights are on, it's actually hard harder to see with night vision. Yeah, I can't I can't see him. I guess I uh, I guess I lost him. Okay. Anyway, we'll just get back in. So that was the other side. Doesn't matter. It's all sealed, airtight doors. Um, I think once I jump in and start moving, they'll close. Let's test that. So we'll. Oh, see, I can't take off. I got to turn the engines back on. Turn the engines back on. There we go. And you can see the turrets are half yellow because only half of them are turned on um, by a custom switch. So we'll hover up, fire up the engines. And it's a little weird. The thrusters are really. It's hard to look at when it's uh, night vision. Oh, see, there's more critters. Do I want to kill you? Do I want to kill you? Do I want to kill you? I can. Oh, he sad and laid down. Put his head down in sad death. So again, I can just go like this, turn the engines off, <laughs> and then... Oh, the doors didn't close. Okay, well, good to know. Um, hmm. I'll come out and get him right away. Now, what I can do, I mean, realistically, the, what, the whole reason I actually built these things is, come on, drop down. I'm like, can I, thank you? Okay, thank you. The whole reason I built this is to drone it up from behind a little barricade. <laughs> um, and then check out, I mean, yeah, I'm, see, there I am hiding behind my uh, little, my own little personal barricade on my, my uh, hover. I don't know. The, I also wanted to protect the, the, um, pat, the driver's seat because it was kind of exposed there with the door open and just the door. I don't know. Just, I didn't like it. And there was still... You could get in at an angle at it, so I put these spiky pyramids on, and then I was like, huh, kind of like those, so I put them on the front. And I was thinking I might actually change some of this and put some some smaller spikes along the edges. You know what? I think we should go back and do that. Let's go back and do that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back in my hover, and... Head back to base. So, go back in, turn my engines back on, and they just fire right up. Okay, let's head back to base. On the other side of the planet. Well, that's okay. This thing flies, or, well, I guess hovers pretty good. Um, Definitely the smoothest ride I've made yet out of all my hover vehicles. But I've never actually used four of the... I mean, with a little bit of steer... Oh man, <laughs> I totally landed right on that guy. Uh, so just with a little bit of guidance passing dudes all over the place that I want to kill. So this 
thing just powers over powers over everything. No problem, especially when it's up to speed. Nice. On the stretch home now, on the flats. Some bumpy flats. And this thing just takes it like a Cadillac. It's, it's so easy to drive compared to the other one. It's not even, it's like, it's like comparing apples to oranges, like really, it's, this thing is like 10 times better. Everything about it is better. It's just, it's just better. Now, obviously the energy consumption is a lot higher and the construction costs, which we'll look at in a second. So pretty fun. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm sure we can get us some major shenanigans with this thing, and we will. This thing just, it's crazy, eh? Like, I can just dance. I can, like, pivot. Pivot dance on its drills if I want. And then if I hit my backwards thrust, can I actually leave the ground? No, I can't quite leave the ground. That would have been crazy. But, I mean, I'm definitely going to be able to uh, drill like crazy with this thing. This is crazy maneuverable now. And just, like, this is what I want an HV to freaking handle like. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just flying all over the place. Having fun. All right. Let's... park this thing. I think we're going to do a little bit of, we're going to trick it out a little bit here, I think. So we'll just, I don't want to slam it down. <laughs> I'm going to break something, especially on a PvP world. I, th I think it does damage if I, I think I can damage vehicles on a PvP world if I slam into things. Okay. We'll shut that down get out. Yeah, so the doors stayed open. Okay, well, that's good to know. I wonder if I can put those on switches. I'll have to take a look at that. Let's go into the control panel and take a look. Um, hmm. Nope, I can't. I can't put a switch to this door group. Cold lock. Is there this is a non-automatic that opens only manually? <sighs> well, why didn't they make automatic doors for HVs and SVs? I'm not, I don't understand this. Like I, I was looking at, it's like, okay, I'll just put an automatic. And it's like, no, no. Nope, there are none. <laughs> At least I couldn't see any. Let's take a look again. Let's go into... Sorry, it's so it's so dark in here. Let me turn on my... Uh, I just don't like the lights being so penetrating and bright. Sorry, it just... Burns into my brain sometimes, the uh, the lights. It just... It, it just... It just burns my brain. Okay. Um, let's take a look at what it's going to cost. Now, you know what? Do I even have blocks? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to do the blocks here and get this done. I don't want to run the episode too late here. Um, what I had in mind here actually was I'm going to strip these off. So I need the blocks. I'm just going to pop the blocks off. Do I leave that on? I'm not sure. I might have to. Let's just 
pop these ones off for now. Because uh, what I want to do, oh yeah, I'm probably going to have to. Okay, so let's pop all these off. So what I want to do is do maybe the half top ramp and we'll just something like that go, go across no no come on let's go this way go to there and then I'll just try it on this right now um, well we can fill that in with one of the these I believe oops Okay, so if I put the there they are, cylinder fence top, little spikies. Now let's draw this up. So if I spin these, hmm. I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's let we'll we'll take a look before we judge. Uh, maybe, maybe. That's that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Actually, I'm kind of digging on that. Okay, okay. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Let's paint it up really quick here before I do the other side. Now, I could have done the symmetry tool, but I always make too many mistakes and I'm always zapping stuff too much to and it just it starts to be <laughs> it starts to be a pain. Oh, I got meat rotting on me. Maybe I should uh cook that up here really quick. So, we'll go into the food processor we got some tomatoes in there. Let's um make some canned meat out of that. I'll have to eat those right away. I actually grow more tomatoes than a, than what I use for the vegetable soup because uh, for the for the excess I put into meat just like that, and it, it like really makes you know two meat go a long way that way uh plus it i mean the parish time on it is really nice too but and the food food of 170 it's actually really decent okay so there we're back up let's peek two pieces of meat let's paint this up okay uh oh i did not have my paint on me so let's go into the oh i can't do it from that one. Let's go over here. I think I put it into weapons ammo. Yes. We'll take out the texture tool. We'll take out the color tool right now. So I'm thinking. Well, this should match black, right? So let's do apply the whole block black. Don't know what to do with that corner. Probably another one of those pieces like there yeah let's do that after we paint this here since I've got this out I might as well just paint it right and that'll stand out quite a bit on the back green background
Yeah, I'm gigging that. Oh, yeah. Giggity, giggity. All right. Uh, is that supposed to be green? That's supposed to be green. This is black over here. Okay. Switch that to green. Come on. Do I do I switch that back to black though? Do I do the this whole front piece black and just have green coming up to it? That might not look bad, eh? Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, so black, 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 black. Can't really see the spikies as well, the black. Like the big spikes. But those spikes definitely, the, the top spikes definitely show up better. So what do you think? Does it look better like that? I wonder if I should do like, like a blood red. Huh. Kind of doesn't fit the color scheme, but it gives it a, a really ominous sort of look, doesn't it? Try a different red. Kind of a pinkish red. No. How about this? More of a crimson? Huh? Uh, not bad, not bad, not bad. And then just run that straight across. Have black all the way across the front. And just have the, just have the drills green. Kind of be keeping a match with the rest of the color scheme of the weapons being green. I like it. I actually kind of like that. I'm kind of gigging on that. So let's change all, oh, not that. Come on. Let's change all these. Okay, and then we'll put that one back green again. Um, let's knock these out. Okay, nice. Uh, get these blocks on. Don't worry about color right now. Okay, so these are the half ramp, ramp top, right? And not that way, although that's interesting, but I wanted to. That way, thank you. Nope, there. And spin that. And bring that all the way down to there. 
And then we're going to put the corner ones on, which are these. Oh, of course, it's the... Now we'll switch this. Go like that. And my dog is going to start barking at somebody crying out in the side. So you guys get a special little prize. I like that. I'm actually kind of really liking that. That's looking freaking mean. So do I do the headlights black then? I could even do those up here. Well, maybe on the front. No, I won't need to because I just need it there. The It's kind of the... That's the low point. I might, might be able to get away with doing something here, though, on the front of that. And and another thing, too, is even though that is a tiny little block, um, I believe its hitbox is a little bigger than that. So it might actually protect the weapons. It might actually uh, have a, a multi-purpose to it. Um, now I think about it. It is going to add more weight, but I don't think they're super heavy, are they? Does it say? So 100 hit points, 15 kilograms. Um, these are 200 hit points, 32 kilograms. And what's currently on them? What is currently on them again? Oops. Um, the half block. So half block is 232 okay so the same they're the those are the same so I'm not gaining any weight I'm not losing any hit points or anything but what I'm gaining is these so a hundred hit points and 15 kilograms 100 hit points okay uh, I'm good with that what are these? Same as a half block. Okay. What's a full block? Same. Okay, so there's no... There's no difference between the half block and the full block. Oh, I did not know that. Wow, most of them are pretty much considered full block. Look at that. Even that one. That's interesting. So just these. Oh, those are small too. The fences. Okay, so is it the half? Okay, so it's the it's actually the half half walls and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Um well let's get those on here. And just like that, there, and there, there. I like that, it adds, it adds texture to it, right? It kind of, it goes with that spiky theme. Now I could make them red and have all the spikes red. Uh, that's interesting concept. Did I put this corner? No, I didn't. Because I'm, I'm a slacker. Put that in. Um. Hmm. Don't really know if there's a place for any more 
really like the look of that. That's really coming along. Hey, I should actually put. Okay, so let's 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 get our paint tool. And let's try out that color then, the crimson. Apply the whole block. Oh. Oh. I'm liking that too. Look at that. They really stand out. Matching. Yeah, this is. This is coming to shape now. Okay. These ones over here. Yeah, I'm liking that red. That crimson sort of looks really good on the spikes there. That's got more of a bloody look to it than the other reds did. You know what? Let's 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 red these two. Let's red all the spikes. The way they really stand out. Wow, that's looking pretty cool. I'm actually really liking this. Okay. Add on there. Yeah, paint it up. Nice. Let's get that black, that black. <sighs> Contemplating doing the whole front there black. <clears throat> Let's try it. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do the whole block. Let's let the whole block, put that back. What? Oh, dirt. Okay, so now <laughs> go like this, go like this, and this, and this. Okay, so let me stand back. What do we got here? Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of liking that. I'm actually kind of liking that. Well, I wonder if we did the green. Right there and there. Let's try the green right there and there. And just have the GTI black. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it's kind of kludgy looking. Um, I'm not a very good designer, so. But you know what? I've made worse. This looks kind of mean. It looks mean. It looks like it could do something. Let's um, let's try some textures here. What do we got in the way of textures? <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. I, th I think that's kind of cool. 
I should actually add them to the top ones too. Um, I don't know how I'd do that without it looking stupid though. Floating in nowhere because right now the turrets are actually taking, taking those full bricks. Might not look like it, but they actually occupy a 3x3. Three three. <sighs> so I'm really not sure. Other than it making it look like it's floating in air. Um, no, I, I just, I don't want to go there. It just, it won't look right. It won't look, it, I mean, I would have to actually do it, rebuild that side. And right now I don't want to stick out any wider than I am. I'm just barely getting through the doors here. So <sighs> I don't know where else I could, I could do it up here. I could do it up here. I could do it along the top edge of the, of the artillery turret. I could do it all in the same style as that. Up there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking the sound of that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So let's. Let's pop these blocks off. Okay. Let's take the whole thing out. I have something else in mind for you guys. I'm going to twist you into a different shape. So. You can see this is just basically just a big blob of metal with a long. I started, like I was saying, with just a, a rectangle box. And then made the separated the cab with uh, with a big portion in the back. All that is all just full of of um, gear in here. Uh, anyway, let's continue on and get this done. Let's put the uh, bandages away. So we should have enough blocks. So we're going with these half ramp. Um, oh, isn't that interesting? So that is an angle there. I wonder if I can fandangle something out of that too. Just for aesthetic, for looks, do the same thing with these blocks. No, it won't work with the lights. Okay, so, hmm. Let's flip this guy up. So we'll have to figure something out for that. Oops, what did I do? Spin! Whoa. See, in the front it's going to work really good. The back it has those funky, the funkiness to it. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it work properly in the back. I might have to abandon the back part. Just do the front. Okay. So let's spin this. Do that. OK. 
Okay, so what do we got back here now? What do we got back here? What about if I do one anyway? Oh, oh, then I just make that solid down. Oh, that might work. Okay, so, okay. See, a lot of stuff you don't actually see until you start popping blocks off. Okay, so if I, that makes that really big though. Doesn't give it that rounded appeal that I was looking for. Okay, so what if I was to do the same sort of thing? Come on. the other way one more am I not just seeing this right what am I okay yeah one two okay oh it's just you're right I, I was not seeing it right okay so if I do that that's gonna be funky that's all funky Not sure what to do here besides straight down with blocks. God, that's I don't really want to do that. I don't know, there's probably a better way of doing this and I'm just not seeing it. Okay, let's just continue. We'll go with this. There's nothing else that's really going to work here except for this. Well, you know what? That doesn't. That might not be so bad. Hang on. And then we just pop the. The light. Oh, we could put angled light there. And another headlight here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually kind of gigging that. Yeah, because that's blocks underneath that. So if I... Okay. Let's pop this out. I'm going to pop this guy out. Yeah, because that's a block right behind it. So it's not going to get... Even if the 
even if the light gets popped, it's not going to destroy nothing right away. Uh, okay, so let's pop these out then. So that's that square. It's already popped out and that beside it. Okay. So now we replace that with a regular square. And the other side with a regular square. And then we put two, no, come on, down there. And then, Okay, okay. And then we do the lights here. We can do, for here we just do a half square. Or slope, I guess it's called. Like that. that. Okay. And then we, yeah. Yeah, that looks okay. And then we'll get hot lights. Now I'm going to have to, I think, make some more. And hopefully we'll have enough for our spiky bits. Okay, let's take a look. So we want that spun around like that. Okay, now let's take a look really quick to see if we have um, any more headlights made. We've got one. That's it. That's it. Okay, so that's all mostly stuff I looted. Some of the stuff I made, but most of it I looted. I put a bunch of stuff I looted on this thing, actually. Some of the uh, turrets, the um, I think one or two of the minigun turrets, some of the other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Pot light. Need a pot light. Spotlight, pot light. Where art thou? Right there, spotlight. Gimme, gimme. I'm currently uh, making some stuff for CV to... I'm planning on upgrading the the uh, flying hangar to something just a little bit more robust. I don't want it really much bigger than it is because I like its maneuverability and getting in and out of asteroids for mining. So, but... I do want to make it a slightly bigger and more uh, robust in the way of being able to like potentially take a hit. Okay, so we'll put one facing that way. And the other one facing that way. Okay. Okay, see that actually smoothed it out. Not so bad now. Not so bad. Might be something else I can do there. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think that that's going to be solid. Okay, let's finish this off. Okay, so this is just one of these guys. And, oh, it actually did not start it flipped upside down. Or sideways, I should say. Okay. There. Okay, I'm gigging it. I'm gigging it. I'm gigging it. It, it creates um, a more... Less sharp edge, <laughs> so to speak, even though I'm going to put sharp spiky bits on it. 
Okay, so now that should all be black then, right? So I should circle that with black. And then come down the back with green. That'll be black. Okay. Okay, so let's get these spiky bits on. I actually have an oxygen thing buried in there somewhere. I, uh, I realized after I placed it and after I put the turret down on top of it, it was like, uh... So I said, ah, screw it, I'll just put down um, two on the side anyway. And it was like, you know what, good enough. I don't need, I don't need a third one anyway. Come on. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Potentially adding a little bit of protection to these turrets. To this turret anyway, up here? I don't know. It's more aesthetic than anything. Come on. Ah! Multi-tool that off. See what I see what I mean by easy to actually misplace frickin'. Okay. So that's all spiky bedded up. Not sure if I can do anything with this here. I can do it on the front. But that's it. I could do it on three on the front and the two on the back. Don't know if I want to. Okay, let's get this painted. Almost no blocks left anyway. Okay, so we're doing the crimson on the spiky bits. Ah! I really do like that red, but... Ah. <laughs> That's why I'm doing the red right now so that I touch it up with the green because I'll probably be okay with the black. Okay. Touch it up. Ah. Really? I can't get to it. There we go. Jeez. Turret takes up. So you say that its hitbox takes up that full frickin' 5x5 five five square. Okay. Okay. So that's looking good. That's looking good. Okay. Let's get this finished painted. So apply the whole block. This is going to be black.
Nice. <laughs> I'm liking those spiky bits. Kind of gives it that sinister look, doesn't it? I might, I might need to find a texture to uh, enhance that with. Um, nice. Oh, let's finish getting this. Get this light over here. Okay. And get this greened up. Okay. Not bad. It's kind of looking Christmas tree ish, though. Having second thoughts with the green and the red. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm a horrible designer. What do I know? Let's get uh, some texture back on here. the name back on okay that was a, the only spot there's no point putting it up there because the turrets in the way to read it although putting it up there put another one up there Got one out front. I don't need another one up there. And the one out the back. That's good enough. Um, you know what? I'm not going to spend much more time on this. This is all just aesthetics at this point. I think at this point it's like ready to rock. And I don't need to fiddle with it anymore. So... What I will do with all these little spiky bits, I will redo the. Oh, it's the GTI there. So let's do that. Now let's do it. Line that up here. Yeah. It's funny how when you use the drone, you can't hear the uh, tool zapping. Lined up with there. Okay, so. Okay. Nice. Eh, not. I'm still not convinced about the red on the little spikes. I, I'm. I like the ones on the front. I'm not so sure about the ones on the side, though. I'm thinking I might put just paint the rest black. Leave just the ones on the front black, uh, red. <sighs> oh, and paint down there. Okay, the the sound of the door going up and down is driving me nuts. And I knew that was going to do that because I put an automatic door in there and if I got close it was going to go like that. And when I back away it goes like that. And when I walk by it goes like that. Oh, I got to head back over here. Oh, I don't want to... Yeah. <laughs> but it looks cool. Right? The, doesn't it? The garage door there looks cool. Right? Right? Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't paint this. Why didn't I paint that? There you go, buddy. <laughs> Feeling all naked. 
Ah, the red. Yikes, it really stands out, doesn't it? Not sure if I like it. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Jury's out. Jury's not out yet. We, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, uh... I'll let you guys decide if I should get rid of the red and paint it all black. All the spiky bits. But I'm not removing the spiky bits. They're staying. They're awesome. I like them. That's so cool. That worked really well. God, it looks beefy as hell now. <laughs> class 1. Crazy. Is it still Class 1? Did I go over? Nope. Good. Okay. 86.9 tons. Didn't check what it was before I added those spiky bits. Well, guys, I think we're going to call it an episode here. Uh, got to show off my uh, my new rod that I made from scratch. Um, it's always good making a scratch vehicle. It, it really shows you what you can do with the blocks. Uh, if you've never actually tried making something from scratch and you have the time and the space to work in, like this is ideal space here. It's nice, well lit up, uh, at least good enough for me. Using the drone, uh, the drone actually has really good headlights, as you can see. So when I fired up, see how it, everything just got brighter there? Everything's just brighter. The drone's awesome. Use the drone. Use it all the time. If you're not using the drone all the time, you're probably doing it wrong. Just saying. So as I get rid of the drone. Um, yeah, so there. Got our new little bride. We're we're in cruising in style now. This is definitely a step up from our survival um, rig. Even with the even with the lasers on it, it never really put it over the edge into greatness. Um, I think this might have some epicness to it that I can. Oh, missed a block. Get that painted. Okay. Nice. Well, guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Um, next time we will be going out and taking this to a planet somewhere. Yeah. In potentially the updated hangar. So my next goal is to beef that up somehow. Maybe make it a little bit, a, a tad bigger, not much bigger, but more more combat ready. We'll put on some more guns. Um, that way I'm not so scared of CVs just coming and blowing it up. So if I, if I put it, load it up with um, everything that it can possibly have, then you never know. Maybe it could survive a fight. Uh, maybe out in space anyway. Still on a planet, most of the guns won't fire anyway, so meh. The CVs, the NPC CVs cheat, by the way. They get to fire their plasma weapons on planet. So, yeah, just saying, they, they cheat. So, although I do like the contrast of the spiky bits red with the green, uh, the, I mean, you can see it with the black too, but the red really stands out. Um, all they were there for is just to make it harder to shoot the um, the pilot seat, which they do. They 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 block vision quite a bit, actually. So yeah, I like them. I like them. Nice. Actually, I think their hitbox might even be the whole cube. It might even be the whole cube, like, like the amount that you can see is just a sliver. So to hit me through the door, hit the door through there is going to be pretty tough. And apparently I'm dying from starvation. So let's, um, 
<laughs> Let's eat something. <laughs> yes, I know I'm dying, okay? Let me in. <sighs> oh, thank God. Okay. So, on that dying gasp, I'll uh, call it here. Uh, next, next episode, we'll go into space and we'll s try and smash some things and dig some things. So, until then, guys, have a good one.